and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I talk all about gluten-free and dairy-free. I've got Crohn's disease, so I do a lot of stuff about gut health as well. And today I am going to be doing what I eat in a week, and this is part one. Um, you might have seen my what I eat in a day with Crohn's disease video before, which I'll link to below. If you haven't, um, then go and watch this afterwards. Uh, but I'm really trying to challenge myself at the moment. I'm really trying to get back into kind of a new healthy eating regime, so I thought I'd do it in a week. I've split this into two parts because it got to a little bit too a little bit long so I've got the first three weekdays that I'm going to show you and then the weekend and then a little bit more of the weekday will follow I actually saw part. a nutritionist to help me like evaluate my diet and I realized that I wasn't eating as much as I thought I was eating I was like lacking protein and I really tried to want I really wanted to make it more anti-inflammatory um so actually I don't think this is necessarily a perfect diet but I thought I'd just be honest and you can see how I'm trying to mix things up I'm trying to change things so i hope you'll find it really useful let's go i've got they actually made this overnight oats yesterday so i haven't had oats for a while so what i've decided to do was like use half oats and half uh nutrients so i've used um blueberries banana nut butter um a spice breakfast spice mix that i'll show you in a second and yeah and some almond milk and i think that's about it i'm probably not gonna eat the whole thing because it's like literally jam-packed so i'm just gonna pour some into it actually about half of the overnight oats which is great because i can have the rest about half 11 as like a little snack so i wanted to make it a cup of turmeric tea it's really really lovely it's got turmeric and ginger And this was the mix that I used on my breakfast that I was telling you about. Um, it's made by Spice Sanctuary and it's got cinnamon, cardamom, fennel, ginger and nutmeg. So it's just so much easier than using the spices separately. Around 11 o'clock and I'm starving for some reason. So I've just gone ahead and poured myself another bowl of the overnight oats. I still haven't finished it all actually, so that's good. And I'm using a bottle, which I will leave a link to. These are amazing to try and encourage you to drink more water. So they're a water tracker bottle, as you can see. I'm not actually doing as well as I should be because it's like 11 a.m. So it's around one o'clock and I'm just making a big batch of soup, which I know in this hot weather isn't ideal. So I've got one and a half um, sachets of uh, chicken stock. I've got basically just any leftover veg that I've got. So I've got courgettes, a bit of butternut squash, a bit of carrot and a bit of potato, just kind of finishing everything off. Um, I've just chucked it all in there. I haven't made it with courgettes before, so I'll see what that ginger um, and some cherry. I'm now just gonna add some almond milk and a little bit of coconut uh, yogurt. And then I'm gonna blend this all up for half an hour to make the soup. <music> some chicken thighs so these were all maybe marinated they were reduced from Sainsbury's um, so I'm gonna batch cook these so I'll have a couple and then today and then a couple tomorrow I've got some courgettes um, which I've just sliced finely I usually take the peel off to make them a little bit easier to digest because the peel has the insoluble fiber and the inside is soluble fiber but I figured because I'm sharing this with my husband I should some more courgettes and some sweet potato fries the sweet potato fries were reduced from the co-op so I'd usually just make them myself but they were reduced so I've drizzled them in olive oil and I've added like a paprika mix that I've got which was like um, a paprika other different spices just to give them a little bit of flavour and I'm going to cook both of those in chicken thighs and then we've got the courgettes and the sweet potato I was going to do rice with it but I think this is going to be enough by itself so I've just added a bit more coconut yogurt and some sweet freedom chocolate sauce hang on I'll show you which one that one so i've just added that one to it as well that was day one i'm pleased at the amount of fruit and veg i'm slowly trying to increase especially blueberries and courgettes because they can be a little bit tough to digest sometimes but i'm introduce introducing them slowly um i actually skipped the next day i went into birmingham i ended up eating the exact same breakfast the exact same lunch so i thought it was a little bit pointless so skip today but this is now day two of what i eat in a day i forgot to do my overnight oats I'm really achy today as well so I'm just making some Nutribix with some apple that I've peeled to minimise the fibre because I just need something like really soft and gentle. I suggested using this blueberry powder. I have been having blueberries this week but usually I find them a bit too fibrous and it's a really good source of antioxidants so I'm just going to try, I'm going to literally try half a teaspoon, it only came the other day, 
I got it from Amazon. So I'm going to add that and I'm just going to add some nuts or some cashew butter and this sweet delight that I use all the time. It's like cinnamon, fennel and so on. And I'm just going to pop that in the eggs. And I've just made a cup of turmeric tea. I am like so tired today and so achy. So I'm just hoping it's going to give me some energy. So it's lunchtime and I'm just reheating that soup that I made a couple of days ago. Uh, it's looking a bit like grainy. I think that might be just the dairy-free yogurt. I'm hoping it's safe to eat. So I'm just reheating that. And I just popped a genius gluten-free bagel in the toaster. And that's a little confession. While I was waiting because I was starving, I did tuck into these because I am not a 33 year old apparently I'm a five year old so these were sent to me from Asda today like a little PR package and I just tucked in they're really good for kids actually they just remind me of those like little like animal bites you used to eat as a kid um but yeah they were lovely so I'm just gonna have my soup and my bread. because that soup I managed about half of it but it definitely wasn't as nice when it was fresh I was sent this the Nush um, new almond cheese in the post and quite a few of you have asked me on social if it's any good so I thought I would just pop it on some corn things which are like rice crackers but corn versions and I've got some leftover salmon and I'm really trying to increase my oily fish I probably won't get to eat this tonight because we're having a lasagna so I'm going to chuck some of that in a rice cake some of my meals are a bit random when I'm just trying to get all the different food groups in but I think this will work salmon on. I just thought I'd show you the cheese looks pretty good doesn't it it looks quite a convincing equivalent it's really exciting for me because I don't eat carrageena because I think that's how you say it because that can like make information worse so so many of the dairy free cheeses often have carrageena in um but this the ingredients look great and so i've just given it a bit of a lay i'm going to add some sand. and there we go as beautifully presented as ever i say my last spot eating a day was actually aesthetically pleasing yes yeah, so i'm just going to have a snack on these so i'm really trying to increase my protein and so the soup alone probably wasn't enough protein and i'm also trying to have at least a few fish portions of fish a week so i'm gonna go snack on this um and yeah and then i'll be back guys it's time. dinner and i'm really sorry that i didn't show you the process of making these um i'm trying to keep these vlogs like really short and sometimes i just forget but i just don't want to lie and make up another dish so this is what we had for dinner so we've made a few portions of it so it's gluten free and dairy free lasagna so we use actually i usually use five percent mince but for some reason my husband used 12 percent mince today uh we use oh see what lasagna sheets we use actually i can't remember which supermarket um and then we have some goat's cheese and then my husband also added some of this fire life cheese as well to have a kind of a mix of cheeses we had that with jacket potato and we batch we kind of batch cooked a whole one so we've got a portion each for tomorrow um, yeah, so that's what we had for dinner. Oh, I found them. Uh, it was the Sainsbury's gluten-free lasagna sheets. I must say, Sainsbury's are one of my favourites for gluten-free and dairy-free. Uh, loads of loads of good things. I use their pasta all the time as well. But yeah, that's what we're in here. So I'm not going to linger very long. But I'm having a glass of Merlot because it's Thursday night. I have had a busy day and I have had a few blogging things that are quite exciting to celebrate. And my husband picked me up this from the co-op. It's dark chocolate with raspberry, which looks lovely. So I'm going to have some squares of that, some rosé. It's my Humira day tomorrow, so I just try to take it easy the night before because I know that I can be pretty wiped on the day of it. So that was day two. It did seem a little bit mismashy, but to be honest, um, if you're like me and you're trying to gain weight, which I am because of Crohn's, trying to get all your nutritional benefits in, it is sometimes a little bit random. Now, day three is my Humira day. So it always starts off with the best intentions because I know I'm going to do my injection in the afternoon. But by the afternoon, <laughs> I can go out the window. I'm quite tired, really low energy. So just bear with me and let's see what I get up to. Oh, for those of you that don't know, Humira is a drug for Crohn's disease that I'm new to and kind of taking every couple of weeks. Let's go. Morning, and today I'm making a juice. To be honest, this isn't really a recipe I've tried before. I'm just really trying to make the most of every ingredient at the moment and just use everything I've got before shopping for more. So I've chopped up a courgette, um, an apple, some ginger and some tomatoes and I'm going to put those all in the juicer. <music> tomato and some ginger and i'm gonna have that now. it's lunch time so i've cooked some of this this is amazing if you've ever tried it it's a gluten-free vegan soya protein so it tastes exactly like pulled pork but it's made from soybeans i'll shift over for the ingredients they do do like if you're worried about the fact that obviously it's got like sugar in they do do uh 
like a cleaner version that hasn't got like a barbecue flavouring that's just literally the protein. Um, I do use microwavable rice, but yeah, so I've got some microwavable rice, some of that, I've stir fried some of that and I've added some avocado, I'm just going to mix it all together. So just a quick and easy lunch. Um, obviously you can boil out your own rice and obviously that's a lot cheaper. I just keep these things on hand when I'm just having like a low energy type day and it still ends up being quite nutritious. Yeah, I've got some gluten free fresh pepper from the co-op, I've got a fresh pasta sauce, um, and a half roast chicken, a very lazy dinner. I know I could probably, um, like I say, today to be me a day. So it's just quick and easy food because I have a bad head and I am shattered. But it's reasonably healthy and I'm going to try and find some veg to add to it. And I'm going to have some coconut water as well. So guys, <laughs> it looks messy but I'm really excited to eat it. So I've just mixed the tomato sauce, added some chicken, added some of that dairy free soft cheese from yesterday, the Nush one. Oh my God, that's amazing. And because I couldn't find any vegetables, I'm actually going to sprinkle some of this on it. Um, this is what my nutritionist recommended. Well, just to keep adding flax seeds. Flax seeds are mild, so they should be easy to digest. They're a good source of like omegas and also a good source of soluble fibre. But she told me to add it to breakfast. Because I didn't do that today, I read on the back and it said you could add it to uh, dinner as well. So I'm just going to start really small. I think it was half a teaspoon, she said. I'm going to just sprinkle that in. It's got flax seeds, nuts and coenzyme Q10. So it should just be a way of getting a little bit more nutrients in her eating. Exactly. Just to know that if you do buy anything like these flax seeds, they need to be kept in the fridge. So I'm going to pop it in the fridge. Once it's open, it needs to be kept in the fridge. Right, I'm going to go in. <laughs> 